Tonight, we're getting a new view of an unsolved crime four years after it shocked the city of Delphi. Police there are still trying to figure out who killed Abby Williams and Libby German. Tonight, as our Rich Van Wyke explains, the girls' families are hoping that there's this new online video that can help lead investigators to their killer. The real video of the suspected killer walking toward Libby and Abby transformed by three-dimensional augmented reality technology, gives a lifelike look to the nearly four-year-old crime. Libby's older sister, Kelsey, calls it intense. It was like you're standing on the bridge with them as they're seeing this. There's the suspect approaching the girls. Libby's phone is out taking the video with her best friend, Abby, at her side. It brought it really into perspective for me of what they were seeing. And just the, the person being there gave me a new perspective of what he looked like. The original video, sketches of the suspect, a $225,000 reward, and more than 50,000 tips haven't led police to the girl's killer. The families hope this video will. Um, it's going to help trigger somebody's memory, and they're going to say, wow, I really do know who this looks like. The Delphi murders are among hundreds of unsolved crimes featured in the brand new Crime Door app. It's aimed at fans of true crimes. Before signing on to help create Crime Door, Paul Holes was a detective specializing in cold case investigations. From my perspective, it's another tool. It's another source of information that could potentially give Kelsey, her family, Abby's family, an answer. State police insist the case is far from cold. Two investigators work it every day. They are still getting new leads. I still have so much hope. Um, I talked to an investigator the other day and he told me to remember that they're never stopping. No matter what, they're going to keep fighting for us. And Abby and Libby.